Connecting a MongoDB cluster. To access your Mongo database via retool, you'll need a whitelist retool's IP address. If you're self-hosting MongoDB, you can find more info on how to do this in our docs linked below. We're using MongoDB's hosted solution, Atlas, for this example, so copy the IP address from Retool, then visit the MongoDB homepage. Click on the project, and in the left panel, click Network Access to add the Retool IP address. Keep in mind that the exact steps for whitelisting IP addresses will be different for different databases and hosting providers, so if you get stuck, check out our docs, which are linked below. After whitelisting Retool's IP address, you can connect your database by typing in your connection parameters or by using a connection string. In the left panel, navigate to the Clusters tab and click the Connect button. Click Connect Your Application, and here you can copy the connection string to paste into Retool. As noted in Mongo, be sure to replace the password and DB name fields with your own password and database name, or else the connection won't work. If you're copying your connection string from Atlas, Mongo will sometimes default the database name to test. Make sure to update it to the database that you want to use for your tool. For additional security, you can also check the SSL and self-signed certificate boxes to enter the client certificate and key. If your database is beyond a firewall or in a restricted location, Retool also lets you use an SSH tunnel, as well as a bastion host for even tighter security requirements. If you need to use this feature, be sure to consult our docs, linked below. Click Use a Database Connection String, paste the connection string, and replace the password and DB name fields with your own password and database name. After you've configured the database, you can click the Test Connection button to ensure everything was properly set up. If not, Retool will display error messages for what went wrong. Here, we typed the password incorrectly, so let's fix that, and then test the connection again. Now, everything's working as expected. Click Create Resource, and you can use this resource whenever you create new Retool apps.